Okay, so what a way to end a week with Fox now releasing the data sheet for the new EP12 battery model. I predicted this product coming because I saw it mentioned in a few firmware um, documents talking about an EP6 and an EP12 model. Uh, we're looking at the data sheet that's just been released for the EP12. This appears to be a nice white powder coated uh, battery module in the same sort of size as the EP11 model. The difference being that it operates uh, four of them connected together at over 46 kilowatt hours as a on a single inverter. If you've got a H3 Pro, you can have eight batteries connected to it. So you'll be uh, getting close to 100 kilowatt hours worth of storage with eight of those batteries connected, um, two stacks connected to the inverter. Similar to the rest of the EP range when it comes to floor and wall mounting, I don't see any uh, information about the heater model, which is now pretty much standard for the EP5 and the EP11. Um, the ones that you'll see available from the suppliers are pretty much all the heater models now or have a heating element in them. Uh, there's no mention about it being the heating model. However, we know with Fox, you know, they're a global organization, so they typically will release a data sheet for this kind of global model, and then they'll release data sheets um, specifically covering regional product variations, such as the ones that are operating in colder climates where they need that heater support. Uh, so, yeah, really nice looking box. I do hope it comes also in the sort of satin black. Uh, look that we have of the EP models today. Uh, having the option between white and that sort of slate grey dark looking option would be interesting. When we compare what product the product capabilities and the compatibility, so we can see that it's going to be a, a, a Gen 2 H1, the K series, and obviously the three phase products such as the H3 and the H3 Pro. Um, Again, life, it's lithium ion phosphate, as all batteries from Fox. Uh, it's storing uh, a little under, well, a little over, sorry, 11.52 kilowatt hours, even though it's branded as an EP12. Um, pretty decent voltage range, operating range. These are similar uh, voltages that you'd see if you were running, uh, if you were running a full stack of, say, cubes or the HV range. Um, I wonder if it, because it's under the 440 volt maximum, that they are actually including the H1 legacy product as well. Not that people are buying and installing those now, but this may be a great upgrade path for those that have an existing sort of classic H1, and they want to be able to expand that up to over the, the 48, 40, uh, what do I say it was? 46.8 kilowatt hours. Uh, storage capacity everything else looks very similar to the other ep models in terms of its uh, peak current charge and discharge uh, depth of discharge is obviously 90 percent as per all fox products uh, on the in the high voltage range uh, they don't list anything in terms of uh, projected cycle life or anything like that so we'll see i'm sure um, these will assume the same warranty terms as the ep range but yeah just a quick video the ep 12 is coming and uh, i'd be interested to see these installed out in the wild and how people get on with them anyway thanks for watching bye